Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching. This is the American Doofus channel, and this is News Done Differently. It's one of the segments we do here. If it's your first time watching, we do News Done Differently. We do Connect the Dots. We've got a four-part series called Prepare, just about bring the basics of being prepared for emergency situations. Um, we've got a series that is... Uh, called Our Modern World and the Book of Revelation. Um, if it's the, your first time watching, I've done a little bit of everything. I'm a retired minister from, a, uh, from an established uh, uh, denomination. I'm uh, a former politician. I spent a lot of time in media and uh, probably for the past 15 years, um, I've extensively been a journalist. And uh, that's what we do on here. Um, so with that being said, let's get right to what's going on news-wise, news done differently. Again, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, hit the share, uh, leave a comment if you're so inclined. And uh, we start off in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa Police uh, Department Deputy Chief Eric Dilagilish said a shooter shot and killed four people before killing himself inside a medical building on the St. Francis Hospital campus in, uh, that it, again is in, was in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And uh, that report came in about two hours ago. Uh, also earlier today, there was some, some news uh, as far as trial news and uh, a couple of trials, but uh, this one of significance, the Buffalo, the Buffalo shooter has been charged with one count of domestic terrorism, 10 counts of first degree murder as a hate crime, 10 counts of second degree murder as a hate crime, three counts of attempted second degree murder as a hate crime, and one count of criminal possession of a weapon. If convicted of domestic terrorism motivated by hate, um, Peyton Gearden, the 18 year old who shot everyone in Buffalo in the uh, supermarket, uh, he didn't shoot everyone in the supermarket. He shot 13 people in the supermarket, killing 10 of them and was hunting black people. Um, he would face an automatic sentence of life in prison without parole if he is convicted of domestic terrorism motivated by hate. Um, we have the shooting in Tulsa tonight. We have the shooting in Buffalo two weeks ago, a week ago, we had the shooting in Texas. And um, a lot of money is made off of guns and off of stories about guns and off of politics about guns. And um, oftentimes the, uh, the truth gets sacrificed. I wanna share something with you right now just to kind of drive a point home, okay? Um, there are five groups in America that track mass shootings. Mother Jones, The Violence Project, Every Town for Gun Safety, Gun Violence Archive, and The Mass Shooting Tracker. All five use uh, different metrics in accumulating their statistics. I say statistics because statistics can and do get manipulated and they get presented in such a way that you do not always see the whole story. Let's look at it. Mother Jones says there's been six mass shootings so far this year. That's, uh, that's the school, that's the, that's the uh, grocery store, um, that's the... Uh, um, the, the uh, train shooting in California at the, at the train yard, that, okay, that plays it down quite a bit. Here's their metrics. Um, three or more killed is Mother Jones metric. Okay, so they've got uh, the same number as the violence project. Four or more were killed is what the Violence Project uses and what uh, every town for gun safety uses. They only have 27 mass shootings. But let's get over here to where four, and they also 
they also have to be in a public place for these two to count. And they also have to be indiscriminate, meaning it, ex it excludes crimes of armed robbery, any gang violence or any domestic violence. Okay. Um, let's get over here to the very end. Four or more killed or injured, including the shooter. To me, that would qualify as a mass shooting. If four people die, that's, of course, four too many. But that should be the, the bare minimum standard, I would think. However, if we go by those statistics, there have been 818 mass shootings in the United States in 2022. And we're not even halfway through. 818, 920 people killed, 3,141 injured. Quite a different statistic than the pro-gun statistics of only six shootings, 43 killed, 16 injured, nothing to see here. Just something to think about. It's news done differently. One other thing I want to, uh, one other thing I wanna, wanna get to here real quick comes from, uh, comes from Sissy. Uh, Sissy is one of our moderators, also one of our best contributors. And uh, thank you to everybody that contributes to the show. Thank you to everybody that, that joins our live chats and, and chats along when we have those. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And please join us, subscribe, like, share. If you're already a subscriber, hit the notification bell. Um, Sissy caught this, and uh, this was in Louisville, Kentucky. And this was on uh, the same weekend that Grandmaster Jay um, supposedly committed a crime, um, which go back and check episodes on, on that. But uh, I can't play the video because it, they've got guns there and, and not in a safe manner. And uh, that would get me taken down. So we've got a still picture. Is this, is this the, uh, this is with the Angry Vikings, uh, the Angry Viking group. This is not the angry Viking. Is this the QAnon shaman? Uh, two years prior to, um, or a year and a half prior to attacking the capital of the United States. Um, don't know, but it's awfully coincidental. Awfully coincidental. So a um, couple of more stories here real quick. Um, we talked last week. Uh, I told you that I had some word from inside Israel that they were they were preparing something. They they have the largest military drill that the the comp the country's ever undertaken. Last night, uh, their time, um, they ran a drill. They ran an an exercise. Uh, with their Air Force, and it was the largest exercise they've ever run with their Air Force. Uh, they It was over the Mediterranean, and it was specifically long-range targeting uh, is what they were practicing. Uh, this is significant because we've said on here that Iran has enough uh, material to, to create a nuclear weapon. They've got the missile system, um, to deliver it. If we, if we look at how Israel has behaved in the past, um, in the past, specifically thinking back to Egypt, um, Israel did a surprise attack on Egypt and took out their entire air force uh, before Egypt was, any Egyptian fighters were able to get off the ground. Um, 
I'm anticipating something similar coming to probably try to attack and weaken Hamas in Gaza and and in, in the Palestinian part of Israel, an attack on those areas simultaneously with a an incredibly major strike into Iran, taking out all of the Iranian nuclear facilities. They but we talked about Israel has attacked into Iran in the past. Last week they went in and uh, sabotaged some of their launch sites. Okay. Now they're going after the infrastructure, the centrifuges, the the actual bomb making facilities. So um, look for that. We talked about that the last time Chris was on here. We talked about that. And uh, I got just a little bit more intel just now sharing it with you. Uh, you'll probably hear it on mainstream media if you haven't already that Israel did. And you probably won't actually now that I think about it. You probably won't hear it on mainstream media, but Israel did an extensive, the the most extensive um, air drill practice session, whatever you want to call it, dry run on um, in preparation for attacking Iran. And they're not, you know, they're not really making too much of a secret about it. Um, the guy that I talk with says, you know, they're he says they, meaning Israel, is doing the United States dirty work for us. Uh, Iran violated the treaty and possesses way too much nuclear material. And uh, they've got to be stopped before, um, before they develop a bomb and Israel's going to do it. And, and that, that will be coming um, sooner rather than later. And um, we'll talk more about that in the future of the significance of that. If you're a spiritual person, all I got to do is say Jerusalem and you're, you're automatically on alert. Um, so anyway, two more quick stories here. Actually, one more quick story. And then, uh, and then we'll wrap it up. Um, I mentioned earlier the trial information and the six year trial ended with verdict today. What? It wasn't six year. The six month trial with two of the most incredible people. What? Oh, the six week trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard ended, ended, to, ended today. Both people are guilty. Everybody's guilty. <laughs> six week trial, everybody's guilty. Um, you could say Johnny Depp won because he's going to get $15 million from her. And she's only going to get $2 million from him, but um, nobody won. The only people that won are, are people that are just incredible drama seekers because we really shouldn't care. There's a whole lot that we really should care about. Honestly, a whole lot we really should care about. Um, and and yet that has been the focus for the past six weeks. Six weeks. Grandmaster Jay's trial didn't last six days. Totally different players. Totally different system. Just something to think about. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Um, Leave a comment if you so inclined. Really hit that like button if you would, because that helps. Uh, it helps elevate the platform a little bit, and uh, we're not ever going to get elevated a lot because a lot of our stories, a lot of things we talk about. Is in case this is your first time seeing you, you now probably understand a lot of things we talk about uh, get suppressed, and um, 
hopefully without showing guns tonight, we have an episode that uh, might not get suppressed and, and might get some attention because uh, guns, gun statistics in America aren't being shown to you as they really and truly are. It's, it's a lot worse than a lot of people want to let on to believe and uh, giving you something to think about. News done differently. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow night, Thursday, I'm going to be on at 10 p.m. live. I'm going to do live Thursday night. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, a couple of people that you've always thought were white that might actually not be. Something to think about. Thanks for watching. Join, you, join us tomorrow night at 10 p.m. And thank you for watching. I love you all.